Let's look at upgrading a Motorola GP340 code plug and let's look at the mismatch issue. Um, I'm going to open a code plug. Um, mine is a version 4 code plug and I'll tell you why that's important in a few minutes. Motorola doesn't allow you to load in older code plugs into newer radios. That's because a newer radio might have features or something might have changed that the old code plug doesn't know about. So it would cause regression or it cause an error or it could cause problems within the radio. What Motorola re requires of you is that you have an up-to-date version of your code plug and you have the latest version of firmware on your radio. That's not always realistic, particularly with the GP340. It's been around for so long. Whilst it's technically discontinued now, there are still so many of them around. They've all got different firmware in them, and you can't just take the programming from one GP340 with one version of firmware, or one code plug version, and put it into another GP340 with a totally different version of firmware or a different code plug version. That is really irritating for owners of GP340s, because your only option, really, is to upgrade the firmware. and Unless you're a store like Radiotronics, where we have all the apparatus to do that, we have the programming cable, we have the flash adapter, we have all the different versions of the firmware, we have everything that we need uh, in our in our workshop in order to update it. But the reality is is that most owners of radios don't have the flash adapter, they don't have the expensive programming cable, they don't have the firmware, etc., etc. And then they'll buy two or three different GP340s on the used radio market, and there's a lot of them around. And then they read one radio, and then they try and write it down, you know, they can just read device, and then try and just go, okay, yeah, well, I've read one, and then click write device, and then Motorola gives them this uh, error, where it says, no, you need to use a different code plug version. And I can absolutely bet that's why you're watching this video. In the comments section of this video, I'm going to give you two blank code plugs. They are both version 4.5. One is for the 403 to 470 megahertz version of this radio, which is the UHF. And one is for the VHF. I think it's 136 to 174. It doesn't really matter. It's the VHF version of this radio. And I'm going to give you version 4 code plugs. Why am I going to do that? I'll explain now. So let's close this box. This, this one just has 449.3125 in it, which is simple. anybody who knows uh, a little bit about radios and, and licensing knows that that is Ofcom's Channel 1 on Simple UK. I'll just leave that there. We are Simple Channel 1 and with the TX Admit criteria to always allowed. So, now that we've done that, if we now tried to write this, so again, let's look. Yep, it's a version 4 code plug. If we now went to here and click Write Device, and we had a version 5 GP340, it wouldn't work. That's it. It would just, just say no, mismatch. What do we do? Right. What we need to do is make sure that all of our programming is done in this file, this version 4. So I'm just going to put in an extra channel. You know, let's just put that on there and that on there. And Yep, okay, so we've got an extra channel. And now we've got two channels, that's fine, okay? And let's save. It's really, really important that we save this file and we keep all of our master settings in a version 4 code plug. There are version 3 GP340s, but they are absolutely so rare. Um, I tend to use a version 4 as my master file. Now, what I do is I then save this file as, so I've saved it, but let's save it as and call it uh, version 4 master. It's really important that you only ever edit this file. So you don't ever, you know, read another GP340 that has a, a newer version of the code plug in it. No, don't ever do that. This is your master file. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to upgrade this file to version 5, version 6, version 7 and version 8. And then we'll have a version of this file that we can load into any different code plug version of this radio. Right. The way that we do that is we click on file and we click on export and then click upgrade code plug. 
You might get a warning, but as long as it's not an error, you can just click OK. Click OK again. Right, stop here. Just stop a minute. It's already got the name of your master file filled in. If you allow it to overwrite your master file, it will overwrite it with whichever code club version you select here. Don't do that. First of all, let's select code plug version 5. All right, then we're going to delete the words 4 and master and just put 5 and click save. Yep, it closes afterwards, that's fine. We're going to open it again. Now you'll see that we have a version 4, which is our master, and a version 5. Let's open version 5 and have a look at it. You might remember earlier in the video, we saw version 4. Actually, it said 4.5, didn't it? But this, this one now is version 5. Great. Let's keep going. File, export, upgrade code plug. OK, yep. Stop here. <laughs> Select version 6 and change that to, say, 6. Click Save. Again, it closes itself. Why it does that, we don't know. Click Open again. Open version 6. You see where I'm going with this now. So you have to do them one by one. And then again, let's just check. Yep, it's version 6. Close that. File, export, upgrade code plug. Click OK, click OK, stop. Version 7. Change that to say 7. Click save. Again, open it up again. You've got a version 7. Click open. Let's just check it is a version 7. Yep, it's version 7. Now, export. <laughs> it's quite tiresome, but you see what I'm, what I'm doing. And now, because of version 7, we only have one version left to go to upgrade to. Okay, click save. And then finally, let's open version 8. And you can see we've now got a code plug version 8. Okay, a lot of people um, did, used to ask us, yeah, but surely, surely, surely you can downgrade code plugs. No, you can't. That's the only option we have, look, is upgrade code plug. And once you're on a version 8, that's a version 8 code plug, you'll see that you cannot click, the, there's no option to upgrade it anymore. That's because Motorola Solutions, uh, and the software knows that version 8 is the very latest version. There was never another version for the GP340 series above version 8. So you can't upgrade it any further. So let's go and have a look at the files that we've got. Ignore the ones that say CPG log. So ignore that, ignore that, ignore that, ignore that, ignore that. Don't delete them. Oh, not that. That. Don't delete them. Just ignore them. The files that matter are the ones here with the green icons. So. If you remember at the very beginning, I opened this file and then I've resaved it as version 4 master. I've then exported to version 5, version 6, version 7, and version 8. As I said, it is incredibly imperative that you only ever edit version 4 master and then annoyingly, yes, you have to then export to version 5, then version 6, then version 7, then version 8. All right, so. When we open a file, we should never be opening these unless we're just going to write them directly to a radio. The only file we should ever be making changes in is that one. And then we can then export it onwards. All right. What I'll do now is I'm going to give you a bit of a, a, bit of a heads up. Um, I'm just going to put in a third channel in here. 449.4750. So that's simple UK. Uh, version uh, simple UK channel 3 and uh, close that so now you've got all three channels on simple UK and I'm going to save that's my version 4 master and I'm going to put a link again I'm going to put a link to this file in the video description um, just so you've got the version 4 master um, you and there's no point in me giving you the other files because you're going to make changes to this file and then do the upgrade as I showed you in this video so that's pretty much it. Um, that's the information about uh, code plug versions on GP340.